I am FTA. I'm Jono. I'm Trojan. And welcome back to another episode of Sonic Says. Uh, we are currently anti guardian less because he is anti guarding some dogs. Would that mean he's like not guarding them, but he's like fighting he's just them. very he's fighting them. Yeah. It's like come on dogs. He's and I don't mean on. I don't mean like defenseless dogs. I mean like like anthropomorphic dogs with like swords and shields. No, I mean like I mean, street sharks but with dogs. Street sharks. No, yeah. I mean he found some rescue dogs. I just punching the crap out of him. Oh he no! Found, he found some rescue dogs, and he was unrescuing them. <laughs> he was like, "Oh, you were rescued. Here you go. No way. No, <laughs> why?" So uh, it last... was really dark for the show. <laughs> so last episode, we kind of got caught up with the behind the scenes of Archie and did uh, Sonic Mega Drive, the next level. Today we are here to do um, some Hedgehog issues 279, 280, 281, and 282, which will pretty much bring us up to the conclusion of the Unleashed arc. Yeah. Um, do we want to say... Well, it'll bring us to the final arc of... Of the arc. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're switching up the format of Sonic Says. Well, I would say, I would say it's starting this, this. at this point, it's more of an Unleashed saga because <laughs> mm. of how long it's gone on. Yeah. Too long, some might say. I, I would Most say that. Would say I it. would say that, yeah. So, from like I was saying, from now on, we're actually going to do uh, our episodes by arcs by instead arcs, yes. of, hey, this issue came out this month, and so did these other issues. So, yeah, so instead of doing it by what came out in the month of June, it's just here's this arc, here's that arc, here's trade. So, it'll, it'll essentially mean it'll give us more time while we wait for arcs to be completed. It'll finally give us a chance to try and go through our backlog of things like trades, more interviews, and finally start in Sonic the Comic. Because that's something that me and Jonathan have been looking forward to for yep. so long, because I love that book. So, um... I didn't, I didn't spend millions of dollars collecting those for us not to review it. Your father Billions! Just, your father Billions. just gave you a small loan of, of a million dollars to completely get the backlog of Sonic the Comic. Yeah. And now, now, now I'm a billionaire president. Make Sonic Comics great again. I'm not Ken Penders. Oh, uh, you're not? I'm not. Get out of my house. Guys, I do this show to forget about this garbage. <laughs> so let's, let's just listen. Let's I, will so say, I will say, Ken Penders is a lot like Donald Trump on Twitter, isn't he? <laughs> like, if you if you think about it, they're very similar in their... No, I, I you know, TJ yeah. will get back to what you said, but I dis <clears throat> disagree. Penders is very civil on Twitter. No matter what you say to him, he will not stoop to your level. He is. I'll, I'll give him that. He's very civil. But he's also like... He's, he's I'm like, I'm the savior of the Sonic comics. You're oh, welcome. His, his, no, no question he has an ego, but he, he yeah. doesn't stoop to petty insults the way Trump does. That's true. That's Let's true. move on before TJ has a brain <clears throat> aneurysm. So, um, last time we did a Sonic book, we, on 278, we had Face of the Enemy Part 1... And now we are going to do part two. So, Mr. Tron John, if you want to run through what happens in this part two. Oh, oh so we should... Yeah, well, that, yeah. so if you remember what happened last time... Well, actually, I was going to say... Something sorry, happened. Sorry, sorry about that. As we normally do, Facing Enemy Part Two, Friends Indeed, written by Ian Flynn, pencils Adam Bryce Thomas, inks Terry Austin, colors Gabriel Cassiter, and letters John Workman, with cover by Jamal Peppers, Terry Austin, and Ben... Hunziker. Hunziker. And Free Full Variant by friends of the show, Jennifer Hernandez, Gary Martin, and Ben Hunziker. So, TJ, please continue. Kind of act like Ian Flynn's not a friend of the show. Yeah. He's, he hasn't been on Did this Jennifer show. Did Jennifer Hernandez pay you for this? Technically, technically, Ian Flynn has not been on this show yet. Oh, okay. Jennifer oh. Hernandez has. Gotcha. So, Ian, this is Flynn, Superpower Flower Hour. Ian Flynn is a very good friend of Superpower Flower Hour, but not What about Matt Hearns? Was he, on, was, he on, was he on, or was he on He was, series? but he's not in this in this issue, so oh. I'll bring him up. Walk right. with me, Jonathan. Walk with me here. No, I'm going <laughs> to fight you every, every way. Sean, John, please explain. Okay, so if you don't remember what happened last time, uh, they're in Arid Sand Zone, and they're looking for this egg base where there's a Gaia Temple, and they come across... Uh, I can't remember what... Nephis? Yeah, Nephis, the yeah. vulture... Yeah, but you know, do you think that it's called ah. Face of the Enemy because Nephis wears a mask? Uh, I, I, no, I think 
Plot also, I think that might relate to what happens at the end of the story. Possibly. What? Where, where the the mask comes off and it's revealed that Nephis is actually Sonic's father. Oh god. <laughs> Wow! You've... I can't believe Nephis <laughs> was Sonic the Hedgehog's father. What a movie! <laughs> no, that's impossible. <laughs> At the very least, improbable. <laughs> Anywho, so they're looking for this Gaia Temple. They come across uh, original The Characters Do Not Steal, uh, which are uh, Spike the Porcupine, Trevor Burrow the Blind Mole, and... Where's this third one? Oh, Sonar the Fennec. Sure. Mm, yeah. Sure. Anywho, so uh, they finally discover where this temple, where this temple might be, and it just so happens to be where all of the Eggman forces are. So Sonic thinks that in the cover of darkness they'll be able to, you know, get in, get out, but nope, the Egg Army gets the uh, gets the drop on them. Oh yeah, and Sonic's a werehog because it's night. Well, there you go. Think about oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we, we cut to, there's Anton, Antoine, Anton. and he's, Anton, and uh, he's fighting one of these bad Nicks. It's, it's just kind of a robot with, with flame orbs. It's a, it's a, uh, Orbinot, but or, not Orbinot. a fire, it's a fo- Forbinot. Yeah. flame So he kind of just Binot. like, he kind of just like blindly just like starts like whacking at this thing and, and ends up destroying it i like how he's he's holding half of one as a torch now yeah that's like that's cool. the most i can't say that but okay anywho <laughs> so then, uh spike and trevor uh come to his side to help him but he's already dispatched of these <clears throat> bad nicks himself he's uh it's the best cut to big and big's wrestling these uh giant like Worm, yeah, worm sand worm from yeah. Beetlejuice. juice. I love that. Yeah. I love that he's just screaming. Aah! And then he fights him and he poofs him. He's like, yeah, okay. Uh, I want to say my copy of this issue has a printed mess up. So it looks like one of those bad, like, 3D images, like comic books from, like, the early 80s. Mm-hmm. You got, you just got a variant of it, and it was supposed to come with 3D glasses. <laughs> See, mine was like that, too, so you're not alone. Oh, it was? No, 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 this is Jonathan's, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, which oh you're you're both reading from the regular cover yeah I'm reading from the um, variant the fall jump into fall variant and mine is regular no my, my this sticks. is fine too his, oh. his personal copy my personal copy is messed up is messed up yeah. oh thanks Archie yeah uh, so yeah Sonar she comes to try to help Big with uh, Chip but Big's fine so he's just like hi. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm a cat. Uh, Etc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, he just tells them what happened. He's like, I squished some monsters. And then Chip's like, well, let's uh, let's try to get into this Gaia temple. Then we cut <laughs> to Sonic, and Sonic is fighting... Uh, Nephis. Nephis? Is that really how you say that? N-E-P-H-T... Uh, H-Y-S? Maybe Nephthys. it's Nephys? 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 Yes. Nephys. Yes. White vulture Nephys. man. Yeah. White, white well, vulture woman. White vulture woman. White vulture yeah. woman. 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 White vulture woman! <laughs> that sounds like a really great, like, um, like hair metal. Ballad. Like, <laughs> white vulture woman! What Fight you do you. to me? <laughs> Strike me with your talons. Make my heart bleed. <laughs> yeah. White vulture woman! <laughs> okay, so hashtag white vulture woman to get trending. <laughs> it's my it's my single. <laughs> so you know, if we get five hundred hashtags, Jonathan will make Jonathan actually write a song yeah. for that. The Mega Drives uh, feature that, that, that's an actual band we can't use. That. Is it? Yeah. Oh, Dead gummit. The Genesis is the Genesis. The, the, gen, the Genesis. Genesis is also Genesis a, is a band. band, dude. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just that song when I just say white vulture woman over it. <laughs> yeah, well you can still hear the original yeah. singing in the back. It's like the worst YouTube cover of the <laughs> White Vulture he Woman. He turned it down but not enough. So like, <laughs> he turned that shit, he's still gonna hear the music but not the lyrics. Yeah. White Vulture Woman <laughs> So uh he's Ugh. Sonic's fighting a vulture. Yeah, Sonic's fighting the vulture and uh he's swinging his webs around and <laughs> 
<laughs> and he's sucking, and, and the vultures just sucking the life out of these children. Ah! I know, you know the way Sonic has to get back to give give a medicine to his sick aunt. Oh god! If he doesn't have it, he's gonna die. So Nephthys tries to uh, clothesline him. Uh, well, she does. She doesn't try to. She does. Okay, yeah. She... Can we just I mean, can we just have a reboot or of Sonic where he's Uncle Spider-Man. Chuck is Aunt May, and like and like you just you just make Sonic into into Peter Parker, and then Uncle Chuck's wife died because Sonic <laughs> would, wouldn't help. Yeah, if Sonic, you know, became a wrestler for like a second for some reason. He became a racer for a second, but he was too good. Yeah. Oh, too now good. I remember what they have to do. Okay, so Antoine. Trevor and Spike go and find this guy who has who's in possession. He's one Hassan. of the, he's one of the temple guardians. Yeah, and he has he's in possession of the key to the Gaia Temple. So, not only are Sonic and the Freedom Fighters fighting uh, the the Egg Army that's uh, trying to take over this Gaia Temple, but these Gaia monsters are also showing up and attacking uh, the the army. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't fun. Yeah, not at all. No. That's what those worms were. They were Gaia worms. Damn. Oh, I had Gaia worms once. <laughs> it's <was> not fun. <laughs> I do have the dialogue between White Vulture Woman and Sonic, where she's like, you need to realize the only reason Eggman keeps attacking is because you keep attacking him. And Sonic's like, yeah. what do you want me to do? You want me to do nothing? <clears throat> you know what? I can't do that. You know who I am? You know who I am? I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. yeah. And she's like, he can't be stopped. You, you know... Just stop, and he's like, um, "No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win." You're dumb. Yeah, you're yeah. dumb. I do, I do like that we get, um, we get this sort of philosophical debate, like, like ah, you know, like I, I do like there's a little bit of this depth to, like, the situation that we don't get otherwise. We did, but like, I, I feel like I, I would, I would much <laughs> rather see this concept mm-hmm. expanded upon. Then, no disrespect, waste time with these three other characters who I don't care anything about, like three new yeah. characters. That's well, true. but I, I think the, the three other three... characters, since, well, we're not even there yet, Yeah. but I think that it, it, it also, it, that, that's also a very interesting They serve idea. a purpose. Yeah. But it's just like, like <clears throat> themes like this, Ian would do a, a I don't say better job, but he, he was able to expand on, on themes like this more in Mega Man. Yeah, the, these type of kind of concepts of like morality and you know should you fight and all that stuff, he was able to follow up on those a lot more in Mega Man, which is I would have loved to have seen. Is there just too much in the Sonic universe? Does it is it just it's so cluttered? I it's think hard? I think that I just think in terms of this story, <clears throat> because Ian is pushing towards getting to the end of this arc. I mean, this, oh, so this, there's just too much. There's too much else going on in this on specific story. I mean, this yeah. this is a concept he could totally come back to. At a later point to uh, um, yeah. to really so what you're saying is just introduce these characters and get the story done and then come back and do this. Well, I mean, like so I would, I, I would have mind if this if White Boat Woman came back in an upcoming story and was, um, you know, we had we could kind of <clears throat> pick this debate up again. Yeah. When when there wasn't a need, was when, when there wasn't this when we don't when it's just because this is a two issue story. Yeah. When it's just it's not well, just really hey, two it's issues. It's technical. It's a one issue story spread up against. You're against right. two two issues, right? Yeah, because this this idea really deserves to be expanded on yep. in a bigger. Completely arc. agree. Right. And then uh, they re- my favorite thing though is once they rescue the guy thing. There's a clear Mortal Kombat reference. Yeah, Sonic, Sonic, get, get over here! Sonic Scorpion's Nephthys, <laughs> get over here, and uh, destroys her wings, which is just a cape. Cape. And uh, Chip's like, "Hey, we freed the Gaia guy." guy. <laughs> And Sonic's like, cool, bye! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, obviously he's not going to, like, beat the egg boss to a pulp, because... Well, no, it's just that there's kind of a, a theme in the upcoming issues where Sonic just, just literally acts as a distraction, like, multiple times yeah. in the, in this, um, in the Unleashed <clears throat> saga, so the other characters can just, like, sneak in and steal stuff. It's those thieves. They are technically dirty, like, rotten thieves. They are stealing stuff. I mean, Eggman stole it first, but that doesn't give them a right to steal it back. It doesn't. We, uh, there is no right law Sonic and order. He's a terrible. There is no law and order. He's a criminal on this Sonic's world. You can't make pictures of Sonic. 
I want, I want, I want like a J. Pictures jo- of Sonic. I want like a J. Jonah Jameson person who hates Sonic in the in this universe. That's what Sonic should just be Spider Man. He should. It's official. He's a lizard. Like, just, just well, Sonic's like, a lizard now. No, not Sonic. The the, the, the J. J. Jonah, Jonah Jameson, Jameson Paolo. J. J. Well, the Snake. I don't like that because you have to have the lizard be the lizard be a lizard, right? Yeah, he's your favorite. Yeah. He's your favorite villain after Mysterio. What? No. Did you have what's his face draw it for you? Oh, Mark Bagley? Yeah. Because I didn't realize that was who he was. I was dumb. I never told you about that? I thought Mark Bagley was somebody else. <laughs> I had him draw me the, the, the icon on Twitter. Or not on Twitter. The icon on Skype. That's how I thought he was going to draw it. And then I was just like, this isn't it. <laughs> so they rescued you young and song. stupid, Gareth. That's like two years ago. No, no, it wasn't. What was it? Three years ago. Oh, you're still in your 20s then. So... Porcupine. <laughs> That's my line. That's why it says it's over. Anywho, so the guy's like, "Hey, sorry, the guy key's broken, but it'll still work." It's like, "All right, cool." Okay, bye. I'm gonna care. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. He's like, "He's like, you should be thanking me though. Thank all these uh, thank these, thank these nerds, <laughs> these, these, these dorks, <laughs> dorks. <laughs> this guy stole. This guy stole uh, Breakman's glasses." <laughs> uh, That's what had the cancel Mega Man because he poked him out lost his glasses. Oh. He's like, I can't function. I can't be in this without my glasses. My glasses. I can't be seen without my glasses. Yeah. So Sonic and the Freedom Fighters, uh, they break away from uh, the the original the characters, and uh, they're like, like, hey, cool. Thanks for thanks for all your help, and it was cool meeting you. Blah blah. blah. And then as soon as they turn the corner. Spike just turns into a jerk, and he's just like, "All right, move it." <laughs> and they go back to their house, and it turns out that uh, the three of them are cohorts with uh, Nephthys. But it's not as black and white as that, which was obvious from what, how the way that Nephthys was was talking to Sonic about yeah. the whole you know argument about um, dealing with Eggman. So they're they're not bad guys. But they're just doing what they have to in order to survive. They're people who have been dealt the crappy hand, and they're doing what they think is best <laughs> to survive. Which they I... think that to best serve the people of their area, to bring the best stability and peace, working with Eggman will get that. Because they think that Sonic will destabilize the area and mm-hmm. break. Re- because happen. if they're doing what Eggman says. Eggman has no reason to destroy their village. Yeah. Which, which it makes some fun sense. And then a white vulture woman gets a phone call, which sets up the uh, next universe, universe arc. arc. Yeah. Eggman's dozen. White vulture woman. Uh, uh, and then we go back to uh, Hidden Costs. Hidden Costs, part three, written by Alain Baker, pencils by Evan Stanley, inks by Terry Austin, colors by Gabriel Cassata, and letters by John Workman. So if you remember, and remind me if I'm wrong about any of this, because it's been such a long time since I've actually read Hidden Costs. <clears throat> so this whole arc was about uh, Sally and Bunny were going into uh, this, like... The thunder, the Thunder... No, it's, a, it's adjacent to Thunder Plain Zone. Oh, is it? I thought it was Thunder Plain Zone. I don't remember. Either way, they're in this area, and there's a, a Chaos Emerald somewhere here but of course in this i think i'm pretty sure wasn't it a fake gaia temple yeah one of the fakes but it just so happens to house a chaos emerald and they don't realize it yeah okay yeah so they're trying to sneak in to get this chaos emerald knowing that the egg army believes this to be a gaia temple which it's not but they don't realize that it it also that it houses the chaos emerald they sneak in and they get caught by the egg boss and the co egg boss. And Clove. Yeah, Cassia and Clove. Cassia is the co egg boss. Uh, so then they have this this whole storyline or this whole part where um, Cassia is talking to Bunny about um, being roboticized yeah. and stuff like that, which <clears throat> Bunny wasn't roboticized by choice. Yeah. And so. Yeah, because Cassie was like, well, you should be grateful. You're stronger. You're better. And she's like, I didn't choose this. Yeah. It was really good. Mm-hmm. But I mean, and 
I can't remember. Did we find out already that Cassia was roboticized in order to keep her alive? Well, she's not even roboticized. She's like, um, she's a cy- she's like cyborgized or whatever. It used to be legionized. I don't know what it is. Um, cause she's sick. I don't think we know that she's yeah. Cause she no no. We, we learned that we learned yeah. at the end of, at the end of the issue. Yeah yeah. So anyway, so you know, Bunny feels bad because she realizes that. The, that Cassia and, and um, Clove. Clove are this, this this is kind of like an ongoing thing with some of these egg bosses where there's a sympathetic like they're just like Garrett said they were dealt a crappy hand so they're just like doing this yeah in order to survive to survive yeah <laughs> so Bunny's trying to help uh, Cassia because she fought her and she you know kicked her butt yeah. And when they get outside, she's just like, oh, double-crossing you. Yeah. Because I'm still a bad guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, then Bunny's cool and does some, some action. Well, I mean, I mean the, the, the thing is that she has the emerald, and she says, I'm going to let you go because you helped me. Yeah. But I'm keeping the emerald. And Bunny's like... That's right. And, and, and Bunny goes, thanks. But no thanks. JK! Boots him all in the face. Yeah. yeah. One swift kick... Uh, dispatches of the two armed guards that uh, came to assist Cassia and then steals back a Chaos Emerald and flies away, Iron Man style. This is also There's been, a really a, nice bit, though, where one of the guards goes to shoot Bunny and Cassia just lowers their gun. Yeah, it's a really, it's a really I like, nice I like moment. that it's a very, very little nice, nice moment. Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, then Clove sees that uh, Cassia's been hurt and... He kind of like swears revenge or whatever. Uh, like I mean, she, she just she just she's like, just mad that her yeah, sister's she's just mad. Yeah. She's, she isn't like I'm gonna break that bunny. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. No, you're not. Kill I'm gonna break his bone in his body. Then I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Mario, Mario, everyone. <laughs> bunny meets back up with Sally, and well, Sally they... can kind of tell that like something went down. That's like bothering Bunny. Yeah. Well, and then Bunny just kind of reiterates that fact that not everyone working for Eggman is just evil, you know. Yeah. Like there are there are other other shades, and, and then Sally goes like, "Yeah, I know. Like some people just do what they have to do to survive, and it sucks. But once once we defeat Eggman, that everyone will be okay, type of thing." Yeah. Um, the greater so they go, good. The greater good. <laughs> so they go back to the Sky Patrol, where they meet up with the rest of the Freedom Fighters. Uh. Nice moment where Antoine's like, Oh no, what happened? <laughs> you are hurted. I will hurt it too. Have I hurted you? <laughs> Love this boy. Uh, I got so, a bitch. Sorry, keep, keep going. No, no, go, go ahead. If I had a bad joke that's not funny. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> um, so yeah, so they're they're kind of just having this like stereotypical thing where they're like, they're like, yeah, all these things that we've been doing behind Eggman's back. Blah, 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 blah. Dun, dun, dun. Zoom in to the uh, vent where you find out that the Tails doll no. is inside the vent recording all this information. The very naughty looking Tails doll. Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we get a, one of the most <clears throat> uh, sinister moments from Eggman. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, the Clover's like, you know, Doctor, my sister's having an action. I thought you said... Once she had this stuff, she'd be flying, and he's just like, "Nah, I lied." And like, it, it, like, it keeps her alive, but there's yeah. still there's still medicine she needs. So as long as you do what I say, I'll keep giving you. Adam Stanley does a really great job. Like Eggman's with mustache, Eggman. like well, Egg, he he makes the mustache. <clears throat> she makes the mustache look really kind of bushy. She gives yeah. him these giant like these giant brows, just make him look so evil. Yeah, and, and I, he just. These him leaning on his on his hand, his cheek on his hand, yeah. just like st- glaring down at Lied. her. It's it's a really it's a really nice bit. Like she like she's she draws a really great emotion. There's in also this, a great moment pages. from a, it's a nice bit of writing from Alia <clears throat> Baker when she uh, I can hear, like I say, in fact, I have no idea what's wrong with her. Not really that kind of doctor. I love yeah, that. I that love that good, moment. Because, yeah. like, Eggman probably just has, like, a, some kind of PhD in robotics or something like that, you know? 
I doubt he even has a PhD. He, he has to. He, he used to. He used to just. He, uh, it, it used to be just like he just stole. It. I want to see some the credentials. <laughs> he, He's he, got like a, a two-year degree from a community college in like uh, in like English. He has. He has the same degrees as Pierre Backman does. <laughs> <laughs> And then, so Eggman just says, you know, as long as, again, as long as you keep obeying me, she'll keep receiving, receiving her, uh, mm. her treatment. Yeah. So then, yeah, and then you have this nice moment where um, she goes to check on Cassia's <clears throat> recovery, and she's just kind of, like, in shock still because she well, has... Well, no, 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 it's, no, no, it's we're going to get out of here, sis. And then she's like, I yeah, sure. As soon as, I'm, as, sure. Soon as the... Uh, Treatment works. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get it because Cassia assumes that it's going to kick in at some point. And then there's this yeah. great, again, Evan Standard, the, the final two panels. Yeah. You see Clove kind of just like, oh, uh, like, the, the really good artwork from Evan Stanley. Yeah, I like yeah. just a, a really nice silent panel. No words, just little tiny pupils and, yeah. a, and a, like, just broken heart. It's, I, I, I really liked that, um, Three port I will say the three. end. The end really sealed it up. I would say I don't. I don't think it needed to be three <clears> parts. <throat> I think it could have been done in two. Yeah. But I, mean, I think I I I'm gonna spoil a little bit some of the uh, next few issues. But I'm not I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of all of the little side stories. I think some of them are not needed. Some of them just aren't that interesting. Um, uh, I think that they use them to just move the story along they farther. do they do but, yeah um or faster faster but a lot of them are just like is these i mean i it, it's nice that they have they try to pair off different characters in, in the backup story so you yeah. get to see some nice combinations of teamworks but um you know, overall mm. uh this issue wasn't bad yeah i thought you know um mm. not nothing steader but i think uh satisfactory conclusions to both mini stories I feel like I feel like the next couple issues are kind of just let's get to the end, let's get to the end. So I don't, I don't, I'm not like yeah, they're they're like excellent, but it's it's more just like let's get to rebuilding the world. It's well, not, a lot of it, a lot of these yeah. sections are when Ian really these issues are when it, Ian really brings in the unleashed references, mm. like yeah, a lot of like specific levels and bosses. Yeah. And like plot points, like you know, obviously the keys have been in it for a while, but about like the keys and the guy gate. This is when all of the uh, the kind of um, all, no. this is when it really becomes an unleashed. Uh, unleashed. Park. I mean, especially going to they uh, go to all the Gaia Guardians and they're people from the village. In the villages, and also if we go to two uh, episode, sorry, episode issue two eighty, keys to victory, mm -hmm. written by Ian Flynn, pencils by Jamal Peppers, inks by Terry Austin, colors by Gabriel Cassida, letters by John Workman. Cover by uh, Jamal Peppers, Terry Austin, and Ben Hanziger, and um, Altered Beast variant by Eric Lee. Lie, L Y Lee, yeah, whatever. Um, Something like that. This this the, it's, it's this mini like story one. for Sonic <clears throat> is re like really throws on the. This is probably one of the most, the most tied to the game directly because so many things of it are taken directly from the game. Um, you know, still so not really. Yeah, sure. You haven't played, have you? Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> I, you haven't let me. You're, yeah, you're stopping me. You from can't doing... experience. I'm stopping true you. Yeah, you, you know you don't deserve it. You don't deserve the plan unleashed. Well, okay, what do I have to you do? You can play Chronicles first. All right, I'll play Chronicles first. I just want to play Colors, okay? No, you, you, you really don't deserve Colors. Why? Because you don't. You don't deserve nothing. I Explain don't. the comic book. Okay. Do Sonic, my bidding, TJ. So Sonic, Sonic's a blue hedgehog, and <laughs> he runs fast. But, but, not, but not too fast. He, no, he it's ran too fast. Answers. That's why he's blue, right? That's the, <laughs> no, no, that's the no British. joke. That, that, the that, British that is the version. backstory in yeah. the British thing. I know. That's what I think that's even the... He breaks the sound barrier and turns blue. The pre-Archie comic book origin, too. Because uh, in the, like, the, the promotional comic, I think that happened, was, was the origin, yeah. too. Because that's pretty much what uh, STC went off of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Totally. Um. <clears throat> All right. So we join the story in holy in the holy tree of Savannah Citadel Zone. 
Oh, that's that's uh, that's actually what it was. I was like, yeah. why? What are, you, what are you talking about? A holy tree? <laughs> I just this is this tree is sacred to me. That's why I said it. All right, Avatar, I'll calm down. Just okay. Yeah. No, never again. So Sonic's being chased by Axel the Water Buffalo and his goons, the Roadhogs, in the Egg Beetle, which is a boss from Sonic Unleashed. That's clearly a. a, a yes, a, we know. We know. But it's called the Egg Beetle, DJ. Oh, God. And you said that game's <clears throat> art. It's the Egg Beetle, like the Beatles. Yeah. It's got a little wig that you can't see, because, you know, it's not wearing and it right the Egg now. Man. They are the Eggman. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I guess... I the walrus. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh, I mean, I guess it could it, it could be a beetle, because it, it's supposed to be like a... Uh, it's supposed to be like a like one of those pincher beetles. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Like a Hercules. Sure. Hercules, yeah. Hercules. Uh, so yeah, so these guys on a motorcycle are trying to like catch up with Sonic, which is a huge mistake. Uh, you know, Sonic's bumping into them and they're <clears throat> they're having a like stormtrooper esque. Like when Sonic bumps into this guy, he he killed that guy. <laughs> like there's no doubt about it. I like how that guy has um like I like how some of their visors are Eggman's mustache. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice yeah. that. It's pretty. It's Actually, really good. It's, it's just that guy Sonic killed. It's just that one, one guy. That that's, <laughs> why, that's why he died. He's like, because he couldn't see that well. Because he had some <laughs> weird visor. <laughs> Anywho, oh, that, so, that guy is in traction. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic bounces off of that guy and gets up in uh, Axel's face, and Axel's like, "Get out of my face!" And Sonic jumps jumps back off of the uh, egg beetle. And he's back on the road. He's bouncing into mm. to the goons on the motorcycles. Yeah. And, uh, One of them smacks I'm... him with a wrench. Yeah. And so, you know, Sonic takes off. Oh again. my gosh, he actually hits him. Like, he, I didn't notice that before. He actually hits him, and he, he gets hurt, hit on the head, and he's got little a little bruise mark. I didn't notice yeah. that before. Oh no, he's not. Hmm. Oh no, this is, this is wrong. <laughs> Children, stop reading this. It's too violent. <laughs> Sonic actually got hurt. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> anyway, so just like Gareth alluded to earlier in the episode... Sonic is once again acting as a distraction. Is it one of those one of those blocked at the Stracticons? Stracticons. <laughs> what the heck is a Stracticon? Uh, so that Chip and Tails can speak to the inhabitants of No. Uh, no. So that's a flashback. No, that's a is flashback. Sonic's Earlier, just outside him. Missouri. Oh yeah, Missouri. It's really t- it's for so Tails and Chip. Can break into the guy game. Yeah. That's right. Get okay. the. Uh, yeah, I will say I like the, the artwork on the third page of Sonic Boom's uh, uh, figure eight feet. Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I also nice. I also Axel like throws um, like chains with a meat hook on the end at at people. Mm. I like that. I think that's, that's cool. pretty cool. You know. But yeah, no, we we flash back to Chip eating some guacamole fruit, um, mm. and they're talking to the village people the guardians is asking with the keys and it's like the keys were stolen by Eggman. i can't find my keys can you help me look i think they might be under the coffee table but i'm not sure so it's like oh okay um i guess i'll just uh, flip maybe, it over this coffee table maybe, maybe check under the, the couch cushions i don't know yeah uh, okay uh not here either what was the last place you had it <laughs> i don't know I, maybe i should check my my coat pocket <laughs> what were you wearing <laughs> Um, it's, it's kind of personal. <laughs> no, I mean, check the pockets! Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, so Chip and, Ta- Ch- Chip and Dale. <laughs> Rescue <laughs> Rangers! <laughs> Ch- 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 Chip, Chip and, and Tails! Tails! Breaks into this uh, guy to temple. And, uh, you know, they're sneaking around uh, yeah, out of sight from these uh, Egg Army dudes. These guys have uh, Eggman, Eggman mustache spiders. Yeah, like, too. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Maybe it's a uh, maybe it's an indication of uh, rank? High, of rank. Yeah. No, Ma- or maybe not. Well, Sonic, that, Sonic's just gonna kill these guys yeah, too. That, <laughs> they're not on motorcycles. Only people on motorcycles. That die. first guy didn't deserve it because that guy died real easy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, Chip, Chip, and, and Tails. Like, I need to stop saying that. Chip and, and Tails. tails. Uh, Chip Got like, a key steal. <laughs> Ch- Ch- Chip and Tails. <laughs> Chip is like, wow, you and Sonic have a real special bond, don't you? And Tails is like, yeah. He's my bestest friend. Oh, and then Chip's like, that's amazing. 
I wish I had a brother. <laughs> well, there's, there's a nice panel where because because of how breakneck this, the uh, pace has been, we haven't had, had lots of. Um, mm-hmm. time for Chip interacting with the other members mm-hmm. so, th- so this page kind of just sums up that there has been interaction like we just haven't seen it yeah. but he has kind of bonded with uh, every with, freedom with, with everyone. I, I like there's there's some really nice references on that page too like Antoine's cooking with him and then Bunny's cowboy, cowgirl hat is under the bed mm-hmm. from the uh, like redesign she keeps it, you know, for late nights. She keeps with, it with Antoine. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, fam? You know what I'm saying? And then they're playing Dance Dance Revolution. That's family friendly fun. That's they're playing Dance Pants Revolution for fun. That Powerpuff Girls special, which was terrible. Yikes! So then they find the key. Yeah, they find the sleeping on Big's head. And it's like, it's like, Tails, do you, do you realize how small Chip is? Like, you could have carried the key. You jerk. You piece of crap. <laughs> no, he just wants to make him stronger. He's, he's forcing him to get stronger. Chip, you weakling. So they discovered that the uh, Egg Army has made its way into the inner chamber, which they were afraid of. Uh, probably from using the key. Duh, <laughs> idiots. <laughs> well, no, because, no, because they, they had no idea what the key... They were hoping... The Egg Army had no idea what the keys were for. Because uh-huh. I think I think they explained in previous issues that um, Professor Pickle was able to decode that that was what, what the keys were for. But I believe Eggman doesn't actually know <laughs> what, what what their use is currently. Gotcha. So they've left this they've left this little setup here, and I love this. Tails is like, oh, their password was password one this time. Getting fancy. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, so Chip like walks up to this void of like energy and uh <clears throat> like goes into this other dimension which i i which which is taken from again spoiler alerts is taken from a scene in unleashed okay this whole thing i don't of, even remember this. this whole thing of chip not knowing his, his memory there's a section where this happens but we don't this conversation <clears throat> doesn't take place essentially just chip goes oh, in so we don't see him meet jesus no chip chip S- just Space Jesus. Space Jesus. Chip just goes into like this like room of like bright light, and then he comes out and he knows who he is. I mean, so, they even reference the the um, Adam God painting in this one panel. <laughs> like, yeah, um, I, I want that painted on my ceiling. <laughs> even with these out of context lines of dialogue. Yeah, I am the first spark. The last light. I am the all smart. I am the cube. Before time began, there was the cube. <laughs> I hate Michael Bay. But yeah, so he comes out, uh, tells no, Chip knows who he was. They they lock <clears> the <throat> guy gates away from people. And they basically come back and tell Sonic they have it. And Sonic's like, oh, you guys, you guys are too good for me. I'm going to go when I have a chance. And this is nice bit where they're like, break out the good stuff, brothers. We did the, the, the impossible. We let's drove off Sonic some, the Hedgehog. Let's go out for some frosty <laughs> chocolate milkshakes. <laughs> I like how now all of a sudden all of them have the Eggman visors. <laughs> they all got promoted because they beat Sonic. <laughs> do, you, do you not even know? It changes automatically. <laughs> they like oh, leveled okay. up. They le- and then the uh, second part of this story is a special occasion written by Ian Flynn, pencils by the one and only Jennifer Hernandez. Inks by Terry Austin, colors by Gabriel Cassiter, and letters by John Workman. Take it away, TJ. Crap, I don't even remember this. Okay, I'll do this. So in this yeah. one, in this one, this is about family, TJ. Oh, Something yeah. you remember, know nothing about. Wow, you're right, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Otto, um, Professor Pickle's friendly rival. Gives them half. Gives them half. Professor Pickle and Otto. <laughs> Professor Pickle three and Otto <laughs> gives uh, Sally and Rhodes a half of a key, uh, the the moon key, and then they have to, they're told about the, the whereabouts of um, where the other one, where the other one be. And then Professor, there's a nice moment where Professor Pickle is uh, annoyed that his friends didn't tell him that he had this, and then Professor Pickle has the uh, classic line. All archaeologists have. It belongs in the museum. Ah, I, uh, you know, I think this is just something friends do. They hide world-saving secrets from each other. And then there's a nice moment when they get into a fight, <clears throat> and they're pulling each other's faces. And and the, then Rotor gets very derogatory. Professor Pickle takes off his glo- takes off his rival's glasses. We can't see. 
Yeah, that's, that's messed just, up. Uh, that's just him. not very... Yeah, he kicks him in the face. And Roder's like, dudes! No, he says, hey, old guys. He's very rude. Disrespectful. Roder's my least hey, favorite character. Hey, people now. near the grave. We got stuff to do. <laughs> um, hey, walking corpses. <laughs> okay, walking dead. Get over. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is the moment where Roder gets... Uh, and it, it's come up a lot in the... Uh, in this in this saga, where Rolf is just like you know, fate of the world, we don't have time for this petty, personal you know uh, stuff. You know, everyone has to think of the big, big picture, picture. Big picture. Rolf is a very big picture guy, which has been yeah. established, especially in uh, Ways of Change. Yeah, you see, Masonic and Tindall arguing about that, and one of they come across one of the Gaia um, key holders. He's like, "Oh no, my mother's birthday today. We haven't haven't done anything about it. What are we gonna do? What are we what are we gonna do?" Oh. Poor Lucia. And she has to do all this stuff, and then it's best to be sad. She's like, oh, we'll help you. We'll help you do all this all this stuff. And then it's stuff like they need to get mm. a... Um, uh, they a, need to get a table at a, a restaurant, restaurant. Which, Honey the Cat comes back, mm. and she's like, oh, you know, I'm food famous. You know, I can get whatever I want. You do. No, no, she comes and says, I have a table booked, but I'll give it to you yeah. if you give me some work. So she's, that she's, was very convenient. <laughs> very convenient. And also, that's highly unethical, what, what both of them just did there. Trading, trading business. Oh for my gosh! Favor. We should impeach Sally. We should. We should. Uh, they need a ring, and Rota makes a kind mm. of fancy jewel ring. She, but then... she, no, he makes a class ring for a high school, and it's like this is super romantic. It is a very tacky ring. And then uh, maybe maybe it's just old people would like it. I don't know. And then Sally and uh, Rota go to the the Neil Woolwich family for some reason. They're invited. And they, they start talking about, um, you know, how Sally wanted help because she doesn't have any memories of her mother because she's actually Princess Leia and her mother died in childbirth. Um, and then wrote to, yeah. and then, and then Rota basically, <coughs> Sally is Princess Leia and Rota is Star-Lord. Because there's like, oh! Rota's a kid and like, she's mother <laughs> in the hospital. Um, and then Rota has this thing where I think, I get, I get why they did it to have a happy conclusion, but Rota's like, you know, you're right. We should have done this type of thing, and I was like, <clears throat> I, I would have preferred it if Rota was like, I get, you know, like he did it, but he was still yeah. like, we gotta go, you know, it's come on, what are we you know, doing? Skip yeah, to the end. skip to the end, and then they're, they're talking about about all all this stuff, and then the the, the um woman's like, oh, you know, uh, thank you so much, and uh, what did you guys need again? She's like, oh yeah, we needed a key. Like, oh my god, wait right here. Yeah, I, I do, I do wish Rotor was was still a little like, come on, let's go. Because he obviously skipped some steps in making that ring. <laughs> he was like, he was like, he, he was a total rush. So you're saying he half assed the ring job? Yeah. So I was just like, what? Well, I can say that in this podcast. He made a ring. This is PG rated. You can say that in this podcast. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. And so it's just like, I mean, it, it works fine. <laughs> I love this because, like, you know. Yes, at this point, like, I, I agree with Rotor that there is some urgency to be had with the situation. But at the same time, you know, Sally's like, you know, these could be some, you know, <coughs> ter- like, the last moments these people have. So, you know, why not, you know, save some of this happiness? And Sally's like, hey, can we have that guy a key, by the way? And the, and the girl's like, oh, my God, the world is literally shattered. And what am I going to say here at a stupid birthday party? <laughs> Which, I, um, yeah. yeah. I have to say, Jennifer Hernandez does a great job she drawing great job. these... Well, yes, but specifically drawing these people from Unleashed. I love I love her bringing them on this page. Especially I think, Lucia. Like, I, I love her expressiveness. I, I really, like, I really enjoyed seeing uh, her draw these people. Jennifer Hernandez, I think... Um, as, as like has a better way of adapting the human characters better than yeah. some of the other artists. Yeah, no, she's she's really good at this. Yeah, because I know, I think Tracy Arley talking about she said like outside of Eggman, yeah, he sometimes finds it difficult drawing humans in in that the Sonic I, style. I think he said because he he's he's, he's been drawing anthropomorphic Sonic the Hedgehog for, characters for like for ten so years, long, like it, that it, it's kind of hard to go outside back. Eggman. Yeah, it's kind of he's almost like how do I make it fit in this. This style. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he works. He he works um, humans with some of his his own um, characters, but like in mm-hmm. terms in context of the Sonic universe, he said he is. No, but I, I I think that uh, Jennifer Hernandez was an excellent choice for these backups because oh, it's yeah. very human centric. Yeah, I get this. Um, 
this uh, issue uh, pretty good. I like, you know, it's um, two little self-contained stories that uh, both closely plot along. The Amstronic story has a lot of nice references and mm. plot to, you know, we finally, Chip finally knows who he is and there's some nice references to Unleashed. And um, the last, the backup has some really good artwork and some, <clears throat> some nice little character moments. But uh, again, I wish Road 2 was still just but like, Come on, let's I, go. I, you know, I I do agree with you on that. I, 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 I would prefer that. She just punches Sally in the face like, we're going now. Next time, do it yourself. Next time, do it yourself. What do you think, DJ? You a fan of issue two eighty? It was okay. It's just kind of it's it it's it's kind of d- during a saga that has has gone on so much already. I think it's over. Is it over two years? It's I think it's over in? two years. Yeah. When you have moments uh, like this, the new where... two fifty two. So it's been so and it twelve ends. issues from that is sixty four. So it's been it's been over two years. Yeah, I mean you have to take off four mm-hmm. issues for the pointless wolves unite. That's still over. Uh, that's still yeah. over two years. Wow. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yes, it has. So uh, moving, and I'm probably the only one that actually likes the backup. What, uh, what, in, uh, in 282? Uh, 282, in 280, yeah. But, it, you know, it's, it's fine to be wrong. Um, <laughs> issue uh, 281, Rings of Fire, Part 1, Slow Burn, written by Ian Flynn, pencils by Jamal Peppers, inks by Terry Austin, colors by Gabriel Cassiter, letters mm. by John Workman, cover by the one and, only, one and only Tyson Hess, and Love Struck Variant by the other one and only... Diana Skelly, Rick Bryant, and the Conqueror of Colors, Matty Matty Burns. Burns. I like how you're like, the one and only these three people. Well, to be fair, there is only one and only of all of them. So, I was right. Some of them are clones. Like who? I mean, you didn't know that. Diana Skelly. I knew Terry Austin was weird. (laughs) (laughs) So, there's Terry Austin, there's Jerry Austin. There's Terrence Austin. The original. The original. So we cut to the Dragon Road in Chunnan. 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 Oh yeah. Okay. I, for years, I called <clears throat> it Chunnan. C H U like Pikachu Nan. It wasn't until I, I guessed it, or it wasn't until I was watching Clements Unleashed Up here. I was like, I've seen it wrong for years. There's an N in that word. Oh, that's yeah, that's true. Uh, so we have Antoine, Sally, Cream for some reason, Sonic, and yeah, Big. bring the child to Dragonland. Yeah, exactly. Whoa! That's racist. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, <laughs> There's a dragon there. I th- oh, you know what? No, they fight a big bird. I'm sorry. Yeah. Check your privilege, what, Jonathan. What this guy. <laughs> they anyway. fight a dragon. They fight a beard. A beard. A beard. They fight, they fight beard. your beard. So no, they they're... team up with a dragon and they fight a bird. They take her to Birdland. I'm sorry. They're all chasing after Silver Sonic. Who has captured Big? He has him in this kind of like painful looking arm lock. Yeah, which is weird because I don't understand how he's like holding him up, but also like having him in an arm lock. I, I think it's that he's grabbed him by the wrist and is pushing him upwards. Yeah, because he has, he has yeah. his rocket boots on. <clears throat> gotcha. Though it's weird that it's called Silver Sonic, but in Lego Dimensions, Silver Sonic is for some reason classed as Robo Sonic. Because they're wrong. Who's wrong? Everybody. Yeah. Think about it. Everyone's stupid except me. Yeah. So, <clears throat> Sonic uh, hits Silver Sonic with a clang, and he releases Big from uh, his grasp. And he's like, Big, you okay? And he's like, no, I'm okay. <laughs> the what? <laughs> I thought we blowed that one up. <laughs> It's Silver Sonic, dude, not Robo Sonic. <laughs> Robo Sonic blows up like boom. Yeah, Silver Sonic, you can't kill that guy. So then Silver Sonic comes back at him with a crash, and he's in his with a crash band, he's in his spinball form. Uh, then all of a sudden, like a big fireball comes out of nowhere with a and, bush and, and, and with, with, two with a George W. Bush. So yeah, they used Bush twice. Yeah, that's Bush. Bush. Maybe just pick a different one for a second. I don't that know is the, the official sound of oh. breathing fire. Bush. Bush. <laughs> George W. Bush. <laughs> and it's 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 a dragon. The character. 
And uh, it's it's um it's the redesign of Dulcie the Dragon. I am. Um, I'm fine, Mom. So I'll I'll, I'll say this right away. I'm. I I really loved um, I really loved uh, Dulcie. No, um, Jeebs, um, Wolfpack, uh, Lupe, Lupe. I really loved Lupe in when they, they brought her back. When they brought her back, I'm not so enthused about this. Dulcie. What's weird about Lupe <clears throat> is that like she looked like Sapphire, yeah, and she kind of acted like that. This Dulce looks nothing and acts nothing. Like it, yeah. it's almost like it's just like name it, only it's almost like a, a Michael Bay Transformer it's like it's it's Ironhide but looks nothing like and sounds nothing like Ironhide it's not as bad as that because it's still yeah. an okay character but it, it, it is odd that, that well, it's that, that, that they named Dulcie Dulcie was annoying in the Dulcie sh- was super annoying I can't remember I put my hands up I can't remember it too much from the book but in the show she was yeah. annoying as hell I mean I she was pretty much I mean I guess she wasn't I don't know. She was barely around. Well, she appeared in season two out of nowhere. Yeah. She, she <clears throat> did somehow have a dragon there. And she was always falling over and like going, I'm okay, mom. And yeah. she cracked away. Again, you can make a drinking game using just Dolce's character alone <laughs> in, in Saturday season two. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I was really excited to see Dolce and be like, oh, you know, maybe it'll like, maybe like I wanted to see what Ian was going to do. And I just, I don't know, I found this to be a little, to me, I found it a little boring. Mm. I don't know. I'm, like, I don't want to, but, you know, it, it, it's it's all right. I also, I don't like, I, I really love how uh, Tyson Hess draws her on the cover, but I'm not as happy with how Jamal Peppers draws her in the comic. Cause That's she fair. Looks, she looks more... Uh, I don't know. She looks more rat. Mm. Like there, uh, there, I don't know. It's it's a visual at an angle, but I feel like there's something more going on. Maybe I also feel the the cover is very mis. Well, it's a lot misleading. But it's like there's like such an awesome action sequence. Yeah. And then like three pages in, oh, it's done now. Yeah, I don't know. I was hoping the whole <laughs> thing. I was hoping the whole issue would have been them fighting Silver Sonic. But it's not. Moving on. No, we get to meet. Loki. Yeah, literally, literally, she sets Silver Sonic on fire, kicks him, and then kicks him off the off the dragon road. I regret nothing. <laughs> ah, Wilhelm. <laughs> I mean, I guess this version of Dulcie still has like, because Dulcie was kind of unsure of herself in Sad AM, and I guess she's she's unsure of herself in this too. They they really so play that up more. Yeah. You see, it, it, it wasn't so much she was unsure of stuff. She was just clumsy as hell. In yeah. The original. It would, it, you know, it, it wasn't like she was second guessing herself the whole time. She was just like, Bleh. you know I what? Sally has to second guess herself a lot in this universe. That's now, the Dulcie thing. has to there's do too it. Many, so. And why? Yeah, there's too many characters. She's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know like, what to do. I don't know. They're, they're all animals. <laughs> Fighting a human. You animals. <laughs> they're all little women as well. I, that's not what I meant. I oh, mean, it's, like, it's animist dumb. and sexist. I like Sonic. <laughs> Why? Just because he's a man? I no. We're cause, in the blue man's world. Because he goes fast. I I guess I don't. What? A woman can't go fast? Pizza yeah, sexist they, TJ they, over they, here. Pizza sexist TJ. Give me a only. Give me a Back to the man. story. <laughs> So those come in, it's like, you know, I'm sorry I messed up. Uh, hello. See, I, yeah, I thought at first she was, like, trying to hide something from them because, yeah. like, you know, me as the reader, I'm like, I'm like, whoa, what? these people that, that Sonic considers friends, they might not actually be friends because they, they, they might have a terrible situation where they have to work for Eggman. But no, Dulcie's <laughs> just, Dulcie's just kind of, like, nervous about being a freedom fighter and she's like, I don't want to mess up, hmm. which is cute. So she's TJ. Yeah, I don't like to mess up. TJ is the is the uh, is the Dulcie of the group. Oh, I wanted Dude. to be the big. Oh. You're not good enough to be big, you cat. You're right. I mean, I was just saying. Who's yeah. your froggy? You don't got a froggy. You can't be big. Jonathan, you gonna be my froggy? 
Gerfen's it's too, what I always wanted. Gerfen's too good to be your my, froggy. My power. Can I get that? Can I, <laughs> can, I get, can I swallow some chaos animals? You I can mean, swallow whatever you want to, big boy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Moving on. Uh, so, so Dulcie takes the crew back to her team, um, her group with uh, Jian the Tiger, Jian, Jian the Jan. Tiger, Jan. Bunker the Tortoise, and Cinder the Pheasant. And again, kind of like Pheasant to meet you. I'm um, kind of, kind of like. So, I mean, I, I get why Ian's doing this to populate the world, but so many of these stories are just like, here's four new characters, there's three new characters, there's all these new you characters. You don't really, you don't get enough time to actually care about them, and, it's just like, and they're I, all, like, they all I'm kind not, of are like, oh, yeah. I'm not opposed to, to introducing new characters, it helps build up the mythology, mm-hmm. but it's just hard. You know what it feels like in, in G1 Transformers? Every once in a while, they would just dump combiner groups. Like, here's the area boss in the episode. You don't really get to spend time with, with them to know who they are. What are you talking boss. about? Silverbolt was afraid one, of flying. One of them. You get, like, the leader, and they go, like, oh, here's the Technobots, here's the, here's the Protector Bots, here's the Terracon. Like, Protectnobots. It's just like, if we don't, there's too many, there's too many new yeah. characters. They, mm. None of them are given that much screen time or even that much of a discernible person. I mean, they're all, true. again, like, I'm sure with time they could be fleshed out, but. They kind of just they're kind of given one note like personalities they're, they're to good, start with. Really good ideas in here, but we have to get to the end of the story. I, it's been two years. I wouldn't mind these characters. I'm just saying, like in in context of the Unleashed story. Yeah. I mean, I know Ian has said that the, the whole point of this saga was world building. Yeah, and in that case, I get it. I would have preferred that just some of these characters were just left for a story. Like we, we can we can meet these characters again. There's most of these groups are um, good notions. We can spend more time with them. I would have preferred maybe just yeah. after the after Lisa's like done, we, we can we, go back so to So this is a two-part story. You could just have them team up with Dulcie and get this story done a lot faster. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. like... <clears throat> it's, it's actually, you could just have Dulcie be like, hey, I know there's a thing over there, we gotta go I'll, fight. Yeah, I'll help you there. fight giant chicken with fire breath. Yeah, but it said we gotta... Why fight. is Cream here? She can't fight a giant chicken with fire breath. No, but have you played Advanced No, but she's in. She's in. Cheese? Have you, have you not played Advance 2? I, I, I played it a long time ago. Cheese is the, is the cheese, child. Cheese, and that is like o, she... it's OP. You just, the final boss, you're going to stand there as Cream, press the attack button, and Cheese will just destroy Eggman. Yeah, Cream. I don't even remember Cream what throws you Cheese. No, yeah. Cream just goes like, attack, and Cream like, runs into it. It's like a Pokemon. Oh, okay. Hmm. So, it's animal abuse. Yes. But it's Chow, so no one cares. I... I don't even care. Yeah, I was gonna say. They don't don't, to don't say back. that you care because you don't. <laughs> they don't need to come back. <laughs> Chow are gonna come back like it's two nineteen ninety nine in pog form. Nineteen ninety eight in pog form. Remember Chow? <clears throat> back. I don't. Corpse form. I remember you. <laughs> <laughs> corpse is Chow. <laughs> you walking corpse. <laughs> so they sit down to lunch and they're talking about uh, pretty much like the status of things where uh, the guardian that they're looking for has been frequently visiting this uh, Gaia temple, but <clears throat> the uh, the guardian of this temple, the spirit guardian, I should say, uh, actually, it's literally phrased guardian spirit. If I would have just looked, I could have said it the right way. Yeah, if you actually read... <sighs> I, I did read this. I like just happened to read it... Ago. <laughs> yeah, months ago. Yeah. Uh, so... They're like, they're like, yeah, this, the Guardian Spirit's been acting kind of weird. And they're like, weird like how? And on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> this is your brain. This is your brain on Chaos Emeralds. Uh, <laughs> Any uh, questions? Uh, so then they kind of go through this thing where it, the introduction to uh, how Dulcie met uh, the Freedom Fighters. Does anyone else think that Dulcie's shirt looks like Spock's shirt from Star Trek? Kind of, yeah. That really... That really confuses me. It really confuses me. I don't understand. So you're saying it's most illogical. It is most unlogical. But they can I, I guess... Did you say most unlogical? Yes. <laughs> oh, out of out, out of, of all... Of, it's Spork. Uh, oh, most unlogical. <laughs> <laughs> out of all the dragons that I ever know, you are she the was most... A, you're bad. You are the most... You are my friend. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> <laughs> Like hey, how you did. Nobody can see that. But when he did, that, he literally made the Spider-Man web. <laughs> web. Doctor Strange. 
Um, yeah, we, yeah, we get to see uh, Sonic and crew meet in Doshi for the first time. Spock and crew. And, and it's there's, this, there's, the, there's this... There's uh, this. Okay, it's not weird, because it's a different culture, I guess. But in their culture... They're there's, racist. There's this, like... Tails is a flight racist. ...clan system. Yeah. Where, like, you know, when the first time Dulcie meets the Freedom Fighters, she's like, she's like, oh, I'm sorry I've trespassed in your area. You know, I'm of this clan, and I shouldn't be here. And Sonic's like, why not? I'm of the whatever clan, and I've been here for years. I'm of the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Dulcie looks like Spock, and it's not okay. <laughs> He's so bad about that. So, yeah. I, can't, I can't get over it. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> Again, this is a weird thing where Stan is like, yeah, it's fine, you come out, goodbye, it should be fine. And Tails, again, Tails is a flat racist. He goes, she flies with wings, that's weird. Sonic's like, shut up! Dude, you can't say that! <laughs> Check your privilege, kids. <laughs> you can't just ask people how they can fly! <laughs> So yeah, Tails is just a, a disgusting flight racist. <laughs> God. Um, and, then, uh, and, then yeah. we, and then we come back to them eating eating food. And, uh... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I love Sonic's like, Remember back then, Ant Anton? Good times. And he's like, I remember her setting my, my hair on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best part of this entire series. We can we can end it now. It's never going to get any better. We're never going to get any better. Well, if the rumors are true, it might be. They probably saw that. Archie was like, well, we're never going to top this panel. Maybe the, only, the, the, only, series. the only way it could be better is if they took the old uh, old continuity version where Sonic lights Antoine's hair on fire and he has to wear a toupee for years. Yeah, no, that's that's <laughs> real. That's that's uh, that's canon. Uh, thank you, Pendus. So, yeah. No, so that was Ian. Oh, it was Ian? Yeah, they, I, think it's, I, think, I think it's Ian because I think it was in the uh, wedding issue. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, they 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 talk about it. That that's why because in early Archie issues, uh, they did a joke where Antoine would like freak out and his his toupee would come off and like flow about. Yeah. Good times. So it wasn't it wasn't so much a toupee, but just because he had like that overly cartoonish reaction where his hair like separated from his <coughs> yeah. His head. So they, they jumped it out of his pants. They made it canon yeah. and that he wore a toupee. Because Sonic lit his hair on fire for some reason. So yeah. it, it was something like that. So they've been given their mission. They have to uh, say... The, the, the only reason that the Egg Army that is uh, super organized in this area hasn't taken over the Gaia Temple is because it's being guarded by this like Phoenix spirit. Dark Phoenix? The, the, Jean Grey? Jean yeah, Grey? the Dark Phoenix Saga. Well, she's going to evaporate uh, Cyclops. Cyclops! Oh! Cyclops! <laughs> 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 there is this one really weird panel where Cream and um, uh, basically in the exact same pose. There's this exact same pose. Yeah, Cream Why? and, what and what's what's the and Cinder the pheasant are basically running there. They almost in the exact they're, same they're, pose. They're very similar pose. I don't. They're like synced. I don't know what's going on. But yeah. So the issue ends with there's, there's the old man who again in Unleashed was voiced by Mike Pollock. Oh, and okay. he's uh, the guardian. He's the guardian of the But guardian. in this, he's voiced by someone else. He's voiced by me. <laughs> but yeah, um, but they wanted in, they wanted into a into a, a trap because we cut back to uh, Conquering Storm, the original egg boss. who has been informed mm -hmm. that the Freedom Fighters are about to enter the Guard Temple. And they're like, excellent. Let the dark, let that Jean Grey murder them all. <laughs> I wish it was Jean Grey. Like I Jean mean, Grey. if 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 this was Pender's era. We would have gotten Jean Grey doing this. No, no, we would have got a Jean Grey knockoff during this. Well, uh, they they did have like um, they would have guest star villains that were just like, oh look, that's clearly Doctor Doom. That's clearly Lex Luthor, but they wouldn't say who it was. They just draw him, like in in early Archie, like as a gag. Be like, hey, it's that guy. This is the villains' convention. All I'm saying is, is that <laughs> is that the current continuity Eggman is clearly created by by Pendus. Clearly was something. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah. It makes uh, sense. The backup we have Homesick, <clears throat> written by Ian Flynn, pencils by Jennifer Hernandez, inks by Terry Austin, colors by Gabriel Casseter, and letters by John Workman. So this is a kind of cute story. <clears throat> uh, we cut to Tails and Bunny who are uh, looking for another Gaia Key Guardian 
to get the key to another guy. To unlock my heart. So they're in a fishing village in Adabat. Is that how you say it? Yeah, Adabat. Okay, yeah. I'd Adabat. So they know that there's... They know that uh, there's a, a key guardian here. And they get to his house and they find out that it's been completely destroyed. It's been one week during the... Uh, it's been... Yet's been during the uh, events of Un- Un- Unleashed, like the the Earth shattering or Mobius shattering. But you no, get it's not Mobius. It's Sonic's. Work. That's what you it's... get for making your house two inches from the friggin' sea, you moron. It's Mobius. No, it's not. It will always be Mobius. It's, no, Ken it, it owns it is, Mobius now. It is leak. It, the thing is he's, that I, he's using it. The I don't thing think is, he I wouldn't. It. I wouldn't put it past to claim ownership of that. Even he, though it was he's using it. Like, so I don't know. Oh boy. Can we talk about how cute, um, how cute Bunny is? I love this hug. The panel of, of Bunny Tails, Tails. Sh- shoving his face into her cleavage. Yeah, it's a good panel. It's a brother and sister. Why do you gotta make it so, so weird? I'm, I, agree, I gotta agree with Jonathan. It was a very sweet moment, and then you're just like, Mip. ruined this whole comic for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair okay if they show a cartoon rabbit I see boobs I'm like okay if we're gonna talk about what are we at I wanna <laughs> if we're gonna talk about breasts no we're not no we're not no we're not okay. no, no seriously where are we at <laughs> okay so uh, Tails and Bunny have the sweet moment of um, you know Tails like I'm so happy you came to us and I got a big sister and then um, the house has they meet this guy's house has broken down and he was was broken into we're going to do, and no, he is he was the the guardian um, to try and get the keys. So they have to go to uh, his son who runs a uh, fruit stand. Which, off the top of my head, I cannot remember, but I wouldn't be surprised if this is an actual store unleashed you can go to in the hub world. I'm pretty. I, I remember. I, so I remember Adabat being like a very very small island. Yeah. And there's a store, and it's mostly docks and stuff. And I'm like, this is like. Like, how can you run a successful business where you just sell stuff? Well, I mean, we're kind of of missing it. So, I mean, maybe, maybe, like, are there a lot of, like, I I think this is supposed to be, like, the Philippines or something. Something like like that. Do you know what country this is a spoof of or a take on? (laughs) I don't know. Um, What is the You know what? Um, Approximation? Yeah. No, don't go ahead. Someone in the, in the comments, if you, I can, we can look it up in yeah. two seconds, but I'm too lazy to. Because I mean, I just, I'm, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, un, I'm culturally unaware of what I've asked. Yeah, same of way, any of, of like any of this. Anyway, so they 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 get to this guy's house and they're like they're like, oh my gosh, it's awful. I'm so sorry, your house has been destroyed. Do you want us to help you? And the guy's like, no, I don't want any help. I don't want things to be better. I just want to sit here and be upset about it. Get away from me. I, you know, I think it's his right. And it's, it's, I mean, it's fair, but it's like, yeah. you know, they're just... That's fair. They're just trying to help. So they go into town, and they talk to this guy, and he's like, he's like oh, yeah, that, that's my dad. And they're like, oh, well, he, he looks... You know, they well, they're kind of surprised, because they're like, you know, he lost... <clears throat> it, it seemed like he lost everything, but, like, his family is you know, trying to get by with what they have left, and he's just yeah. kind of like, nope, the house that I built with my two hands is gone. It I wasn't. Have no, it's nothing. It was, he didn't build this he house. He won it on a crooked 50s game show. No, this house was built by his great-great-grandfather because it was... It this house that my family one. built with their two hands over generations. With that, with that collective two hands. What <laughs> entries in my family back in the day? Between, <laughs> between six of them, two hands. <laughs> we just pass the hands around whenever someone needs them. We had John and Jerry put their bodies together to form two hands. He becomes the amazing Turbo Turbo <laughs> team. Oh, oh God. It's like a Megazord. <laughs> Multiple family members. Like, make one big... Make, make one body. <laughs> <laughs> a horrifying combiner family. Oh, my God. Every moment we live is agony. <laughs> Just uncombined, please. No. <laughs> so they're like, you know, so his entire family uh, gathers together and they're like, they're like, all right, I mean, enough of this where, 
Like, you know, you still have us. <laughs> you still have a family. Mm. We want to be a family again. We don't want you to be sitting here on the beach just sulking. And it's like, it's like we, we can afford to pay this. We got some yes! money. We can afford to pay. He's like, no. Like, okay, buy that. Yeah, so then they leave again, and Bunny's like, Bunny's remembering a moment <laughs> where she was content with just being, like, upset and curmudgeon about her situation instead of accepting, uh, you know, help from others. Well, it, it was after she was first with both sides. She would just sit in, um, sit in, a, in a wheelchair and look out the window, and then you have Tails and Mutsuki, which I keep forgetting. They made him an actual yeah, Mutsuki. Yeah, dog. Um, Is that who... Yeah. What? Mutsuki. Yeah. yeah. Do you think... Oh, I'm I'm having I'm having a. Um... Do you think it's named after uh, Ben Hurst? Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna Alex. assume yeah, but I'm assuming that there. <clears throat> um, and then Tails comes up, bitch, and says, you know, I don't care if you have a robot parts, you know, like we just want you to we just want you to be our big sister, and then like, okay, we'll do that. I like how Mutsky's just like, hey, since uh, since Tails is getting on on being your friend, I'm just gonna curtail in there and be your friend too. Yeah, because he, Tails you know? is like, I'm gonna go talk to her, and he's like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> That's the weird girl. She walks with robot legs. That's weird. Mutsky's a leg racist. <laughs> Everyone's racist in this movie. I didn't know legs were a race. It's a Sonic Universe. Anything can happen. Boys, let's just scrap this one. <laughs> Who said you scrap brain zone? <laughs> no, that's when we get the juices of a hero. Oh. You're right. Mm. Back to the book. Back we'll, the book. We'll get to that in six months. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So they're like, they're, they're like, like, yeah, we're all friends again. I was friends with you first. Shut up, Mutsky. <laughs> you called her weird. <laughs> you called her weird. You sit in the corner and think about what you did. Yeah. So Bunny's like, Bunny's like, hey, hey, quit, quit being, <laughs> hi, hi. <laughs> quit, quit being, quit being uh, uh, angry at everything. They love you. And he's like, you're right. They love me. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. I don't know who you are. <laughs> they love me. He just starts becoming a jerk. You find out that he's actually racist against the animals. Get away from me, you rabbit freak. <laughs> My God. There must be someone like that in this universe. That's true. It's like, like, it's like in that terrible Sonic <laughs> fan film. Come on, guy. Like, he's an islander. Can we trust him? Even though he just saved you like six seconds ago. Yeah. You like that movie. I hate you. It was awesome. pretty good. It's pretty bad. I know, but... And they skip over Tails. He tried. They better than two knuckles, though. He, voiced by Eagle Raptor. He tried. Eagle? Is he a raptor? Is he an eagle? He's a raptor. He's, He's a raptor made of ego. Ego? Oh, ego. I thought you said eagle. Oh, ego raptor. Ego raptor. Egon Raptor. Egon? He likes to make collect spores and all fungus. So, um, they all, everyone starts crying because they're a bunch of wimps. And then they give him the key. Oh, and, shut up. <laughs> Because they're a bunch Crying of, is for losers. Because they're a bunch of TJs, and they uh, take the key... There you go. ...and go back, and then we get a nice moment of... Uh, we get to see Knuckles and Amy. And then Jennifer Hernandez's favorite character, the reintroduction of Mighty... It's not the reintroduction, yeah, it's a re-reintroduction. Well, it's the first it's time she's, a, yeah. she's got to draw him in this new yeah. continuity. She was, I love the design. I love his, I love love it, his yeah. glove and shoe <clears throat> design. It's yeah. very atypical for Sonic characters, mm -hmm. and I like it. Um, we can see fingers. Essentially, fingers, fingers. The uh, um, I don't know. Essentially, it's just like they found a cluster of um, of parts, and then Knuckles is like, you know, we're gonna need to do some stuff. You want to do this? And Mighty goes like, Max, when have I ever passed up a challenge? Um, uh, I don't know, Sonic Heroes. Where were you then? Oh, well, you know what's also cool in this issue, which I forgot. They include a little breakdown of all the continents, the water song the hedgehog. Yeah. On the next page. <clears throat> That's cool. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I, I, like, I like all the flags, all the different flags they have. Yeah, the, the these these few issues we're covering have some really good back matter. Like there's there's a bunch back of like matter. <clears throat> yeah, it's matter in the back. There's uh there's like character design stuff. There's you know. Well, I, I I'll say since um. Vin Lovato <laughs> became editor. He in, in his like little um backup in his little like uh, backup article. He always includes that stuff, which I think yeah. is very cool. He, he always includes like rough designs and like character breakdowns, <laughs> which is uh, 
Yeah, I think he does it a little more than Paul Kaminsky. See, I don't, Paul Kaminsky did it uh, every once in a while. Yeah, see, I don't remember Paul, but, Paul Kaminsky like including like um, concept art in his backups. No, I feel like he did it, but uh, that's like years ago. So, hmm. and Paul now, Kaminsky didn't do any of that. Now he's too busy on Superman. The kid. Yeah. Uh, now Superman's got, a good book. He's doing a good job. I thought, I thought he was just doing the kid titles like oh, was Supergirl. Uh, I, I, I thought he was. I thought he was. I, I thought he was part of the Superman team. He is, but him. I thought he was. He was the key to on like some of the, the less cut in quotes important titles. He. I don't think he's in charge of action. Well, I, I don't I, care I, about I, action. I care about actual Superman. Okay, all right, nerd. It's action. <laughs> Sclops! Issue two eighty two. <laughs> Wings of Fire Part Two: Fighting Fire with Fire. Um, we have... It just makes a bigger fire. That's not yeah. productive. Oh, here you go. Sorry. Right, written by Ian Flynn. Pinterest by Jamal Peppers. Inks by Terry Austin. Colors by Gabriel Cassiter. Letters by John Workman. Cover by Tyson Hess. Horror movie variant <clears throat> by T-Rex. A dinosaur. Drew a cover for this. That's amazing. I, I mean, such small arms. Such small arms. Slums! With, with two slums. <laughs> it's arms! Get it? <laughs> so yeah, conveniently, once again, they've waited until night to uh, to try and assault this We attacked this guy. the rocket base at sundown! Sundown. sundown! Just so Sonic could turn into the Werehog. Oh yeah, because um, that's a thing. Yeah. Because, well, you have to use the Werehog before you lose the Werehog. <laughs> right? Not especially. I don't know. It's, it's the whole reason for Unleashed. Sure. So yeah, so they're like, the, you know, they're gonna assault the. Te- I didn't read this one. I read no. it. I read it months ago, but I haven't read it since. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm missing Sonic, details. Sonic transforms. <laughs> now he's a truck. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they get to the temple, and uh, Chip and Jayan have uh, been uh, been doing some recon, and and they they've noticed. That the Gaia Temple is now being attacked by, or it's being corrupted by Dark Gaia energy, uh, and everyone's trapped mm. there by the Dark Gaia uh, Phoenix. Phoenix, Dark Phoenix. And so this Dark is Darkwing Duck, Darkwing Duck, Darkwing Duck. Let's get dangerous. And this is when they decide Sonic is obviously going to go and attack the <clears throat> uh, old man Phoenix. <laughs> 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 That's the whole plan. He's not gonna attack the Phoenix. Oh old yes, man. he's gonna go murder the best of old man. Um, and then the Phoenix fighters are gonna go come and help. But really, it's just Sonic's gonna go and pummel this giant bird. And as it happens, like, they, they, they kind of uh, try to keep it somewhat accurate to to the games where uh, Sonic gets a vial of, of like a big kind of vase of water oh, and, and water. throws it at the uh, guy, and then this pummels the Ever Eleven. Poop out plumage, there. plumage. He pummels its, its plumage. Yeah. The plumber of plumage. If his if his name started with P's, that'd be better. Damn. Yeah. So conquering storm and and her forces are uh, in the in the in the forests, and they're waiting for their moment to strike. So the ninja they're gonna let up. they're gonna let either Sonic get defeated by the uh, Dark Gaia <laughs> Phoenix, or, have or Sonic defeat the Dark Gaia Phoenix, and then they defeat Sonic. Yeah. Mm. But luckily, uh, okay, the, uh, Sally, um, Sally was waiting for that. So when they when they jump in, the spirit has been weakened. Attack! And then everyone jumps out. And if you look at it, as I told you, just like in Advance 2, uh, <clears throat> Cream just goes, cheese, get him. <laughs> so while the Freedom Fighters... Don't laugh, you don't know that. I don't. So while the Freedom Fighters... You haven't played it either. I watched Johnny's video I've today. I've played it. I just don't think I ever played it as Cream. It's it's like it's like easy mode. Like, it's like playing Team Rose and Sonic Heroes. So while Sonic is is <clears> battling <throat> the Dark Phoenix, the Freedom Fighters are attacking the uh, Egg Forces. What is he doing? Is he caressing this big? Is he caressing the chicken's face? The Phoenix's face? Where? At the bottom of this page. I'm ahead of you. Oh. He's just caressing this chicken's face. Then he grabbed it by the cheeks. If so we can throw it in the He's face. Like, and stab it. Who's a cute bird? Like a grandma. Sonic's your grandma. Oh, he's like, what? 
You know how grandmas are like, you're so cute, let me pinch your cheek. Oh, Remember like, in UHF where... He's the werehog, so he's like reaching like 15 feet away. And he's with like, his so cute. giant clothes <laughs> ripping his cheeks off. He's a song of Grandma Sonic Star. <laughs> <laughs> so Chip uses his, his light Gaia energy to uh, reformat, to reboot the Phoenix. What is this, so Beast Machines? No reformatting in this. But it just happened, so you can't say that it doesn't. Think about it. So yeah, so the phoenix uh, comes back and starts glaring at uh, Conquering Storm, and Conquering Storm's like, um, retreat! Ninja vanish! <laughs> <laughs> and then she, and then the phoenix goes and destroys the base on top of the mountain. And then the old man, voiced by Mike Pollock, gives him the key, and that's it. I don't feel like I don't feel like the coloring on this makes it seem like it's night at all. You're right, it doesn't. Like that really like there's like one scene where where there's a really cool panel where you have big as big, a silhouette in, with in silhouette big with spooky big eyes. eyes. Yeah. And it's like I don't know, I, I there's a little bit of night going on, but it mostly just looks like the middle of day. There's a there's a um, select the, the panel where oh, <clears throat> some of the panels where um uh, the egg force has come in and starts to look more at night. Yeah, like, like when they ninja. Like, there's a great panel where Sadis is just as planned. That lighting is pretty good. Yeah, but it's like it. in the beginning and the end, it just looks like day. Yeah, I mean, there's moments where like Joe and Sonic's fight where they <clears throat> have these kind of weird like anime backgrounds. Yeah, like it's kind of kind of somewhat out of place. But yeah, that's a. Uh, that's that story, and then we move on to Shards and Sparks, written by Ian Flynn, pencils by Jeff Fernandez, inks by Terry Austin, colors <laughs> by Gabriel Cassiter, and letters by John Workman. Do you remember this one, TJ? Or you need some? John, if I want you to take this one. Yeah. Oh. I do oh. like your brand of oh. uh, summing up. Of summing no up nonsense, it. summing it up. So. We're gonna finally put the Chaos Emerald, the Master Chaos, the Master Emerald back together, and we need Mighty Knuckles, Amy, and Ray. The All right, that's player. enough of that. So we're joined <laughs> by Ray, Mighty, Amy, and Knuckles. You just repeated what I said, except without an accent and shorter, <laughs> way shorter. Look on the first page. There's a knock, knock. It's Mighty and Knuckles joke. <laughs> it's especially funny because they did it in the correct order. Knuckles always follows. Yeah, so they're busting into this uh, this egg base, which <clears throat> is uh, being controlled by Thunderbolt the Chinchilla. And she's I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is this is officially this is a active Gaia temple, right? Hmm. No. 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 Oh. Thinks? I don't no, 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 no. In this point, they are breaking into, into an egg base. Okay. Yeah. They are breaking into a... Uh, egg break, base surrounding You're a breaking temple. into a Gaia temple. They're breaking, no, 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 they're breaking in, into an egg base to retrieve um, pieces of the Master Emerald. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so uh, Eggman's like, hey, hey, do your job. And Thunderbolt, the chinchilla, it's like, I love you, but I am doing my job. You know what's weird, though? So, in a... In a episode of the Bumble cast, which everyone should go and subscribe to, Ian kind of said that it it, <laughs> it perplexes him when people think Thunderbolt is in love with Eggman, which confused me greatly. Yeah. Based on some dialogue and artwork and like art that well, kind of <clears throat> clearly shows that she is. I, mean, I, I, I guess she's, she's not in love, but she's a fanatic of him. Was it there's moments where know. like she has she's drawn of like hearts or like yeah. when even looking at him it's like that that's typically just shown for love. I mean obviously he's the writer, so it's possible he it's possible he never wrote it that way and just through artwork it I came like, across that I way. I like that she she has sort of this like you're my you're my idol, like my team my dream I think, team I think, mustache okay, idol. I can see I can see where he's coming from. Yeah. Because I think people are confusing the way that he's designed the character to be like Thunderbolt wants to be the next Eggman. Well, he but I think people, Thunderbolt wants to be the next Sniffly. People have the idea <clears throat> that Thunderbolt like 
wants to date Eggman. Oh, which, 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 which again, in some of the artwork, which Ian has no control over, yeah. there's multiple points when, like, she's either looking at him or looking at pictures of him, and she's drawn with hearts all around her head. Yeah, she's, she's which can also be her room for her idolizing. Yeah. Well, her uh, room is her room is kind of like a teenage girl with like Tiger Beat posters. Yeah, with, like uh, Eggman pictures all over yeah. the place. I mean, it's, it's just a small thing. I just thought I'd bring it up. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, down, I guess TJ. I don't. I, I guess I don't think I, 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 fan base not, shipping TJ over here. <laughs> I guess I don't see it as like as romantic as other people. But you know, there's there's sort of this you know. They are my they are my OTP, sort of thing. and you will not take that away from me, Jonathan. It's kind of a Joker Harley thing. Like, you know it's not good for for either of them. <laughs> well, maybe one day David Ayer will make a movie where it's completely just shown as being normal. I don't think it's normal. I just think that he romanticized it way too much. A bit. Just yeah. way too much. So, so I love this bit. So uh, Eggman discovers before Thunderbolt that her base is being attacked by uh, <clears throat> Knuckles and Mighty. And so we cut to... Knuckles and Mighty fighting all these bad nicks and the, the egg army. And uh, Mighty's like, hey, Knuckles, maybe we should kind of, you know, chill out and, you know, take take her one step at a time instead of just thinking we can brute force our way through this uh, egg base. And Knuckles is like, <laughs> Sonic was right about you. You've gone soft. And this guard comes out of nowhere with a gun pointed right at, <laughs> at, at Mighty. And he smashes it and then throws him through a wall. <laughs> I love Amazing. that. It's pretty great. It's also, it's very sinister. He's totally going to shoot him to death. Yep. Which I remember one time I asked. I remember one time when my friend got my shot. Day. I remember one time I asked Ian, I was like, who's stronger, Knuckles or, or uh, Mighty? Mighty. And if I remember correctly, his, his, his thing was Mighty stronger, but Knuckles is a better fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Than it. So, yeah. I, I can believe that, and that's that's probably how I would have ca- categorized it, mm. too. Knuckles knows ninjutsu, so, you know. According to Sonic Hornets, he does. <laughs> no, really? No, according to Sonic Hornets, in Knuckles, in Knuckles' character profile in Sonic Runners, they labeled him as like a martial arts master or something like that. <laughs> Which, sure. So, um, Thunderbolt comes in, and Knuckles is, is about to kind of just pummel the <clears throat> heck out of her. Well, Mighty gets the emeralds, and just lobs them halfway across, like, the uh, continent yeah. to um, land with Master Sloth. Which is, it, yeah, because he's, like, he in a split second, he calculates, like, what he needs to do, and then, th- like, just com- throws it out. No night, no wind, so throw it like this! And it lands, like, Mo- Master Sloth is standing with, like, a big X on the floor of a basket, and it lands like a foot away. He's like, eh, close enough. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that be, part. He should be angry about him not getting it. We need to push mighty harder, Moss Law. Yeah. And, and then Thunderbolt starts doing her mm-hmm. uh, electric shieldness somehow. I yeah. Mean, I guess. Well, I mean, she it clearly has. Like, that's her thing. She's got. Yeah, Thunderbolt powers. Yeah. <clears throat> Hence the name. What are you, stupid? Yeah, duh. And he, she burns Knuckles' fist! She's a Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Amy has um, broken it into the command center and she kind of distracts all of the uh, <clears throat> enemies by just whistling really loudly into the um, intercom. Kind of intercom system. Mm-hmm. What? I mean... Oh, oh, is they're, they're dazed. I thought she, like, befriended all the flickies that are inside of the bad mix, <laughs> And they were just like, Brothers, attack! <laughs> and then she just starts pressing random buttons and then just breaks the uh, console with a Pico Pico hammer. Yeah. Oops, I broke it! That was pretty good. Yeah. Well, no, that Amy impression was terrible. I know. Ah! Ho-ho! I'm Amy! Classic Amy! Ho-ho! Classic Amy didn't I talk. heard you like Classic Amy! Ho ho! Moving on. So everyone <laughs> leaves. And they, they get all the emeralds. Mm-hmm. And um, Knuckles kind of comes to the conclusion that... You know, I, I, I need to get all of these emeralds. And restore the island before Sonic restores the planet. Because otherwise my island is going to explode. Or some such <laughs> stuff. <laughs> That's not what happens. You yeah. play the games. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it makes sense. Because... Technically, so his his island has fallen like it normally does. Yeah. 
um, when the Master Emerald is not on uh, Angel Island. So it makes sense to fit to, to, to come to the conclusion <laughs> that if Sonic <laughs> brings the planet back together, because the island's not supposed to be wherever it is, so if the planet comes back together, then it'll probably come back between like two continents, and it's just like, yeah. but that's not explosion. Destroyed. That's crushing. I was making a joke. Yeah, a scientifically inaccurate joke. Like, joke drop to Jonathan over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shut up, DJ. Yes, sir. Uh, so Amy uses the mystic melody to find out where some of the able charge, and she realizes there's a bunch of them together. So they're like, they'll go off together, and Mighty's like, I would come with you. But Sega doesn't like it when I'm used too much in this book. So I'm, just, <laughs> I'm gonna stay here. Um, <laughs> and Mush and Ray's like, yeah, I'll stay as well because no one really remembers me. I was in one game that no one played. Well, and I so like that Ray is sitting on his own tail. Sega's on the head, pretty cute. Oh, okay. And then uh, Amy was like, no, it's alright, we'll travel light. And then we finally, it teases, we're finally gonna get a Knuckles Amy team up universe arc. Finally. 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 OTP. Knuckles and Ark. Knuckles and Ark. So yeah, yeah what, what did you guys guys think of this issue? It was good. I, I, mean, I, okay. like, I like the backup. I like the backup. Of that. Yep, same here. I much, much prefer the... Uh, That's because I, I love the backup. Mighty and Ray. My, I just love Mighty and Knuckles just breaking in and taking that, you know, like pummeling <laughs> people. I mean, the thing about... Like buddy cop comedy. The thing about this, it, it, it's very similar to the... Um, the two parter with um uh I've already forgotten the name of your song. Oh, uh White Vulture Woman. It's, White Vulture Woman It's very similar to that two parter. <clears throat> um doesn't need to be a two parter. Doesn't need to be two parter. Well again if I mean it, it if, is if, technically if, one if issue. If it wasn't for the backups it would they would be one issue stories. But I mean they could they could be a half issue story. Yeah. Yeah. Um but you know, ultimately, I think I think a lot of these issues they 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 do their purpose of pushing the plot along. Yeah, it's just as I've said before, I I kind of just wish this the unleashed saga wasn't as long as it is. I feel like some of it could have been condensed by a fair bit. Yeah. But um, aside from that, though, I think you know, ultimately, they, these four issues. They're not, they're not bad by any means, but they they're don't, good. They're just they, you know not good. the best of the series. Yeah, yeah. Pick them up, read them. I mean, um, the artwork. You know, I think also I think a lot of the backups have that better artwork. The backups with um, Emma Stanley and Jim Fernandez just have yeah. been really good. I mean, well, I mean, I'm not to not the not the trash Jim or Pepper stuff because I think he draws a good Sonic. Um, but I think the the backups just 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 have just look better. I, I. Prefer Jennifer Hernandez and Evan Stanley's art. Mm-hmm. Um, so I agree with you. Jamal Peppers does, does a good job. Yeah. 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 Think, think about, about it. it. I, I had to think about it. <laughs> so yeah, um, we, we would recommend these uh, these issues. Please um, join us next time where we will be tra- uh, talking over, I think, one of. We'll, we'll do something. We'll do something. Probably one of our favorite universe arcs for a while. Eggman's Eggman dozen. dozen. Mm-hmm. Um, so please join us then. I've been FTA. I'm John. I'm Tron John. Say bye.